Hello, folks. Good morning. Here we go. I am so happy to be here this morning. And hi, Shaleen. She's here with me. We are doing every Saturday morning we do this. It's just a little 15-minute class, 10 or 15 minutes. It gives you a little information about doTERRA essential oils and products. We hope you'll join us and tell your friends because it's so brief. And if we have something that we're talking to you about making a product, a little roller bottle or something, we will be leaving those products out for you on our doorsteps so you can pick them up and try it yourself. But today we're just going to talk about three ways, three, here's my hand, three ways you can use essential oils and particularly doTERRA essential oils, because we're going to talk about a way that you may not want to use, a couple of ways you may not want to use other essential oils that are not certified pure tested grade as doTERRA essential oils are. So the first way, and I think we've probably all heard of this, it's probably the first thing that comes to mind is aromatically. So what does aromatically mean? Well, perhaps you have a diffuser. You can Open up that diffuser, put a few drops of oil in there, fill it with water, plug it in, turn it on, and your whole room is going to smell like that essential oil. Now, it may not be very strong, that's okay. If it's a doTERRA essential oil, you're still getting the benefit. It positively affects the mood, it cleanses the air, and it can open your airways. One of my favorite oils is wild orange. It's called the oil of abundance. Here's another way you can do top um, aromatically. You put a drop in your hand, rub those hands together, try to keep your fingertips out so you get, don't get it in your eyes. Cup them together, mm. put it over your nose and breathe it in. Wow, that's great. One of the ways that I like to open my airways, as we talked about that, is with doTERRA's wonderful Breathe Blend. And I'm going to do that right now, too. Same thing. Drop in my hand. Oh, oh that is amazing. Now I feel like I can breathe. Okay. Having trouble with those allergens right now. So you know, I've been, Lee, I've been putting a drop of cedar wood. Um, I, I put it in a little spray bottle in my shower with peppermint orange to wake me up in the morning. Yes. And I've been doing a spray in my hand and then just breathing it in the shower with the steam. But that cedar wood, when cedars picked up recently, then I haven't had any problem at all. And that's a great idea, Shalene, at bedtime, because cedar wood, you know, is a great oil to help you sleep. Yep. So if you do that, if you spray it in your shower before you take a warm shower before bed. That's, That's a, great a great way idea. to help you yeah. to get the effects of that oil. So wild orange is energizing and invigorating and it's uplifting to the mood. And then the breathe that I just used helps you maintain feelings of clear airways and it promotes feelings of clear breathing day and night. We're gonna move on to the second way. And the second way is topically. Um, so that means you get localized benefits. And if you have sensitivity or you want to get really, really good results or you're using it on a child, you might want to use a little fractionated coconut oil to dilute that oil. So if you've got sore muscles, for instance, deep blue is really a great way to soothe those achy muscles or your head and your neck, say at the end of a long day. So it's kind of the same thing. You're going to just put a drop in your hand. Rub it in. And then I'm just going to rub it on the back of my neck here. Oh, that feels good. That's great. It's another thing you can do if you're having problems breathing. You can rub it on your chest. So you could take that breathe oil that we talked about, that blend, and rub that on your chest, and it will help to open up those airways. Another super great oil, which we find to be one of the quickest acting oils, is Digest Zen. 
This is everything digestion. It says here, you can use it at meal times to help your digestion. If you have an upset stomach, if you have motion sickness, if you're constipated or have diarrhea, have a little nausea, take a drop of this, rub it on that abdomen. Just put it in your hand, rub it on your abdomen. It will work so fast. You'll be amazed. You'll be absolutely amazed. I use it for a little gas sometimes when I have gas. Yes. Yes. It just helps really. And it's an oil that you can take internally, which we're going to take, we're going to talk about here in just a minute too. So we've covered two ways, aromatically and topically. Now we're going to talk about taking oils internally. Now, a lot of oils, if you go to HEB or Walmart and you pick up an essential oil, it's going to tell you right on that bottle, don't put this on your skin and don't take it internally. Well, that's not the case with doTERRA's oils. There are some oils that we don't take internally, and those are mostly tree oils. Um, but most, by and large, most of the oils that doTERRA makes are perfectly fine to take internally. You enjoy a few drops in your water, in a veggie cap, or under your tongue. Every morning when I get up, um, in order to support my nervous system and help my cells perform properly, and mind you, um, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA, and we're not trying to tell you that any of these pro pro products are intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So, but what I do is I take this oil, frankincense, which we call the king oil. And this is how I do it. Some people have a really easy time with just tipping the bottle up and putting this oil under their tongue. I don't have that easy a time. So I take one of these, it's a pipette. I stick it in the bottle and I get a couple of drops. Hmm. and put them under my tongue. That's, that's a great it. way to do it. I actually just do the bottle like this onto my finger. And then I've done that before too. Yeah. The other way, I'm going to take a drink here to kind of rinse that frankincense down. Lemon is a great cleanser, right? How many times have you gotten a product to clean with and it's got lemon in it? Yep. So doTERRA's lemon essential oil is a cleanser for the home, but it's also a cleanser for your body. It's a very gentle way to cleanse your body. So instead of doing a wholehearted cleanse just every day, I do this. I take my water bottle and it's a big old honker. And I put a few drops of that lemon oil right in there. Notice it's glass. I don't want to put a citrus oil in particular in anything plastic. You want it to go into glass or stainless steel. And then also my straw is stainless steel. And this is silicone, so it can come off and be washed. Nice. There. It's in my water for the next couple of hours, and it's gently cleansing my body. So three ways. Very simple. Aromatically, breathe it in. Topically. Put it on whatever's bothering you, head, neck, tummy, internally. Take it in a veggie cap, put it under your tongue, put it in your water, your tea, whatever it is you're having to drink. And that's it. Three ways to use essential oils. So thanks for joining us today. That was awesome. I hope to see you next week. Yeah. Um, next week, we'll be talking about correct decks, right, Shaleen? I love it. I keep yeah. it handy. It's awesome. A great hey, product. Lee, the one so thing I noticed, the one thing I noticed today was you're taking care of yourself. Yes. You mean all these things. And we yep. don't take care of ourselves often enough. So I encourage you to take care of yourself and use these oils. Absolutely. Yep. Thanks for Can't joining. Can't help anybody else if you don't help yourself first. That's right. <laughs>